the Manchurian Candidate? Uh-huh. It's the original. Yeah. Uh, remember that fight that we had when you told me how much you liked the remake with Meryl Streep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I told you I would watch the original with you so I could tell you why it is so, so much better. Right. Yeah, how could I forget? Thanks. Sure. Um, anyways, I, I should go. Um, do, you, do you need a lift to school? Looks like you're already late. Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm taking a mental health day. I'll probably just watch this instead. Okay, uh, well, enjoy. Wait. You want to watch this with me? I am very sorry about what happened to Victor. But I need to turn myself in. You're not taking one step outside this cabin until I get some guarantees. Guarantees from the police department and the district attorney's office that they're not going to railroad you for a crime you didn't commit. I cannot have them wasting their time when they should be finding my husband's real killer. I talked to Nora. She will try to get Star arraigned as soon as possible. Oh, thank you so much, Bo. Is there something you wanted to tell me? We well, you know, actually, yes, there is. I want to know what you're going to do about Shane Marasco. That's right. He threatened my son with a gun. And I want to know if you're going to charge him for it. I'm sorry, Dad. I never should have believed that you could have done that. No, look, you have nothing to be sorry about, okay? This is my fault. Ever since your mom died, there's been this distance between us because I've been there for you. Sure you have. No. Actually, I haven't. I've been so obsessed with revenge, I haven't seen what you've been going through. But that's over. Okay, from now on, I've got your back and you've got mine. Anything happens, we help each other get through it, okay? Okay. Dad? Yeah? Am I gonna get in trouble because of what I did to Jack? So far... No charges have been filed against Shane Morosco. Of course not, because Rex isn't just your good buddy anymore. He and Shane are family, and we all know how the Buchanan just love to stick together. Is that right? So you're telling me that Shane is just going to get off scot-free? No. What I'm telling you, Blair, is I think you should think long and hard before you force the issue to get Shane arrested. What is there to think about? The boy could have killed my son, Bo. I understand that, but... If Shane's actions become a matter of record, then so will Jack's. And then he will have a few charges that he has to answer for. Like making a false statement to law enforcement. Obstruction of justice. Is that what you want? I don't know if you're going to get in trouble with what happened with Jack, but if you do, we will face it together. And honestly... Murray told the truth, so I guess we just wait. Yeah. Shane, I don't know if I can fix everything that's broken, but I promise you that I've always listened, and I won't judge. Mom used to be good at that. I'll never be as good as your mom. But I promise to give him my best shot. You know, revenge isn't the only thing that's become between us. What else was there? I've been chasing a ghost. And if we're gonna get through this, that has to stop too. Ever hear the expression, buyer beware? That means a deal's a deal. So if you don't like your half, you can suck it. The only reason I wanted that gun back was because I thought my son used it to commit murder, but it turns out he's innocent. Yeah? Mazel tov, but that's not my problem. You listen to me. You give me what I want, or I swear I will track you down and take it back from you one way or another. Ooh, you're scaring me. And you're wasting my time because I don't have the damn document anymore. What are you talking about? I gave it to someone else. What? 
Who? Okay, I'll tell you. I gave your precious document to... Oops. So what's it gonna be, Rama? You gonna call the police and make sure that we all end up with nothing? Or you gonna go with the far saner, more mutually satisfying plan that I just proposed? Oh, can you believe the nerve of that echo? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but it looks like Rex didn't kill anybody. I know, I know. You were right the whole time. But don't get any ideas about Mr. Perfect, because as soon as you get out of here, I'm not going to let you try your crazy plan to win Rex back. You and Rex are through, capiche? Oh, my God, I got to get to work. Stace, soon enough, no more Spotted Pony. We'll be on easy street. I'm so sorry, Victor. I thought we were on to something with Rex. You and I both know how much he hated you. Okay. So if you didn't kill Victor and neither did Rex, I need to find out who really did. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll figure it out. You're gonna stay here? Delgado, you've always been there for me. I'm here for you. <laughs>